G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD, and today we have the final 10 games of the Foot Champions Weekend League. You would have seen from the last episode that we ended our first 10 games on 10 wins and zero losses. Today we're moving on to the final 10 games where I found myself at 28 wins and two losses. At this point, 37 wins was not even enough to get top 100, so I had to win my final 10 games in a row. How do we go? You're gonna have to find out. Let's jump into the gameplay. Moving on into the gameplay, lads, and I'm going to admit that I won't be answering any questions from the previous episodes. I do apologize for that, but today's episode, I want to commentate over the final 10 games so that you know the stress that I was going through in these final 10. Now, you will see up on your screen right now what I was doing all weekend. I was switching to the 4-2-3-1 with Nangolan subbing on for Smalling. Isco went into the cam position. On the right was Sanchez. On the left was Hazard. And up top was Ronaldo. In the CDM position, Positions. I had nine Golan and Kante, and David Luiz, who did start at the striker position, went down into the centre back position. Obviously, I had my two right back and left backs on the uh, wide areas. However, lads, we did start off well on this game. Ronaldo tucking home into the bottom corner in the 45th mount. Now, this guy was a good opponent. Villarreal, I think his name was, uh, his club name is. He's a very good opponent. I looked up his thing on Footwiz. He generally gets around Elite 2 or Elite 1 or even Elite 3 sometimes in his weekend lead finish. Now, he did equalized to make it 1-1 and I was getting a little bit nervous and I will tell you lads a lot of these games were very very close because I was coming up against people that regularly finished in Elite 1 and Top 100 so it was a very very tough uh, sort of run of games that I had to play however you will see Philippe the Wiz going down there getting the overlap and hitting it into the bottom corner off the post made it 2-1 lads and lads that wrote that game out now that did push us into 29 wins which was Elite 3 now as I said at the start I did need to win all 10 games in a row to get top 100 lads. It was going to be a tough challenge and you're going to see at the end result how we did indeed go. We come up against an opponent to make it 30 wins. He has Harry Kane, Benteke, Martial, Herrera, Chan, Sid Gertsen, Smalling. He has that team of the season Valencia. He has team of the season red card um, uh, Aspet Equeta. And lads, he started off well in this game. But you see Sid Gertsen going through and finesses it into the top corner. Butlin Absolutely no chance. I can't take it away from him. A lovely finish, but lads, we do bounce back. Nine Golan, a nice driven pass into Isco. Holds it up. Ronaldo finds Isco once again, and a driven shot. Well, not a driven shot, but a powerful shot into uh, Courtois. Too powerful, he could not stop it. Lads, we get a break in the 70th minute. Uh, Isco into Ronaldo. He drives it to the defender. I wait for the pass. Isco takes it into his feet. He's running down the line. Cuts it into Ronaldo and he heads it home to make it 2-1. Like the last game once again. Now I will tell you, a lot of these games were close, as I said before, and a lot of them ended at 2-1 result. Lads, it means that I've been conceding goals, but I've also been scoring goals consistently throughout this weekend lead. 2-1 final score. It makes us into the 30th win area. Now lads, at this point, I was in. I was just. Uh, my heart was pounding nearly every single game. It was a tough game, nearly every single game. Every opponent, as I said, was elite standard. And literally, when you get into that final ten games, when you are heading for that top one hundred rank, you are versing some top quality players. So these were very tough games. As you see, I did dominate a little bit in shots, but it doesn't matter. It didn't write how he was as a player. He was a very good player. We come up against an opponent with team of the season Dembele, Lamar, and Zonzi, Kante, Aspetiqueta. He had Valencia, Ramos, and Alessandro in the left back position. A very solid super team that is he that he had himself. Lads, we started off well. Valencia up the line into uh, into Sanchez. Back to Valencia. I saw in nine Golan in the middle, and I saw Ronaldo making the run. He puts it home with a low driven shot in the tenth minute. This guy as well. I noticed. He is a very good player. I've played him before. He regularly gets elite. Lads, as I said, very tough opponents in these next 10 games that you've seen. As you see, he starts off, well, he doesn't start off, but he bounces back with Lamar. A nice driven shot into the bottom corner to make it 1-1. But lads, lo and behold, we have another 2-1 finish into Hazard. A lovely touch. Drives it forward. He gets in there, cuts inside, sees Ronaldo, and Ronaldo cuts that home, lads, to make it 2-1 in the 88th minute, lads. The dream of top 100 Continues, lads. The dream of top 100 continues. As you see, we did a race quit in that game to make it 2-1 once again. Three games, 
2-1 final score. Lads, as I said, very tough and close games these games were. As you see, lads, it is loading a bit. You will see the stats. It was a fairly close game. I think I did deserve this game, though. Um, in fact, a lot of the games in the final 10, I did sort of deserve. Um, I, you know, I dominated in shots and possession. So, as you see, you know, six shots, 55% possession. I did dominate that game, but he was still a quality player. We come up against an opponent to make it 32 wins. He has team of the season, Mertens. He has Salah. He has Belda Dial. He's at Nygolan, Dybala, Keita, Pischet. He has Hummels. He has Bowman in goal. Lads, a lovely team he has there himself. Adela Luiz holding up in the midfield. We start off well in this game. Isco into Hazard. He misses it and gets offside. But lads, we were able to get ourselves a lucky goal. Ronaldo intercepts from the mistake of my opponent and he chips the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. These are the sorts of things that we need in these games. These are the luck. This is the type of luck that we need in these sorts of games. As you said, we do hit the post. A very unlucky attempt there. However, he bounces back with the counter-attack into Nongolan, into Mertens. He is very fast, very agile, and very quick, this Mertens card. He sees the overlap from Nongolan, and he tuts it home to make it 1-1. As I said, lads, always a close game in these last 10. Very good opponents, elite standard players, and really, I was finding a very hard task to get these wins. Lads, I hold it up with this go. 37th minute. He misses the pass, however, we do get it back. Into Hazard, into Ronaldo, a fake shot into the bottom corner. It goes, lads. 2-1, 38th minute, Ronaldo takes the lead. Hazard, season senior, a very good super sub, lads. I am so glad I packed him in my monthly rewards. Ronaldo finesses at home to make it 3-1, lads. There is no way I'm giving up a 3-1 lead in the position that I am at this point in time. Lads, we do sub on uh, a few subs to keep the lead. And, uh, as you see, my Mane was coming on for me at the striker position to give that sort of quick and agile sort of uh, pacey play up top that could give me some some counter-attacking goals. Now, when I was in the lead, I never substituted someone on that was defensive because I thought, if I can see the goal, then that sort of stuffs me when I'm trying to get a goal back. So I decided to keep subbing on attacking-minded players because then, if I can see it again and it goes to extra time, I have a fresh attacker on my field. So that is why I've been doing that lately. We come up against another solid team. Yon Goku, a very solid player as well. I looked him up in footwiz. He regularly gets a lead. Lads, he had Mene, he had Ericsson, he had Dem. Bell, uh, Del yeah, Deli Alley, a lovely team. But we do get a bit lucky here with Ronaldo tucking it home into the bottom corner. A lucky goal, if I don't say so myself, but we make it 1-0 in the 20th minute, lads. These were honestly intense games. My heart was pounding in every single game. As you see, I saw Isco, I saw Ronaldo, a nice overlap from Sanchez, back, to, back into Ronaldo, and he finishes that into the bottom corner. I'd give him dab, number two, lads, and lads. This is the sort of things, or these are the sorts of games that I don't want to give up a lead about. As you see, he puts it into Ronaldo, a lovely ball from Ericsson, and he is not missing a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper there. A very unlucky uh, conceded goal there, a bit of a counter-attack. It was my fault, I did give possession up in the midfield. However, we still had a lead, it was 2-1, and I knew I was going to get more uh, sort of, uh, you know, shots, etc., and chances, because I was up in the lead. As you see, Sanchez with the low-driven shot, Ronaldo is able to tap home the rebound from the keeper. A lovely goal, 3-1, and as I said in the previous previous game, there was no way. I was giving up a lead at 3-1 with the position I had. As you see, I was keeping possession very well, and as you see, lads, we make it. 3-1 uh, final score, and I believe this was our 33rd win, or 34th win. So we did get a lead one fairly quickly, quickly in these last uh, sort of 10 games. This was our 33rd win, so lads, we had seven win, no, we had five wins left to get to get to top 100. Now, as I said at the start, 37 was not enough. I thought it would have been because 37 was in the top 100 at the beginning of that day, but as the day gradually got on, you know, 37 was not enough. So he needed 38 to get top 100. He had a very good team. Aguero, as you see there, he uh, he had that uh, red red version of the Aguero card, a very solid looking card that was. He starts off well here. Butlin palms it into Son's path and in the 60th minute, I thought, please, Please to God, do not give up this. Do do. I just cannot. I thought it's my weekend. I cannot give up this lead, so I make some tactical changes. Hazard. I do believe I sub him off for Mane in the end. I do sub on uh, Mane for Hazard, as you would have seen. And uh, I sorry, I sub on uh, Mane for Nigolan as I keep Hazard on the field for that attacking-minded player. Now I had a lot of attacking players in this. I had Hazard, Insignia. I had um, I had Sanchez. I had Ronaldo. And as you see, Mane does go up. Top to give that attacking, pacey sort of striker. As you see, 
in the 90th minute, lads. I needed to score to keep my top 100 dreams alive. Uh, Philippa Luis misses it, but then Senior bounces back, lads, to make it 1-1 in the 90th minute, lads. Our dream of top 100 is still on. As you see in the 113th minute, I see Insignia. He plays it into the uh, Ronaldo to Insignia. He bursts up the line with his pace. I see uh, Mane in the middle. I do play a lovely one too. Into Insignia. He's going down the line. I saw Mane once again. Mane passes the defender and he slots that home into the bottom corner, lads, to make it 2 1 in the 115th minute. This was my weekend. I was not giving up this lead from this point of the game. 2 1. 115th minute, lads. As I said, no way was I giving up this lead. 2-1 final score. Another game that ended in 2-1. A lot of those games, very close. Very, very close. And as you see, my opponent did have more shots, but I had more shots on target. So, lads, that was our 30, uh, sorry, 34th win. Our dream of top 100 was still alive. We come up against a super team. He has De Bruyne, uh, Lukaku, Son. A very solid card that Son Khan is. Deli Ali, Kante, Kyle Walker, Keane, Alonso. He had Vertonghen, De Gea, and Herrera. A super team, lads. An absolute super team. But we start off well. Hazard down the line. Cuts inside. See Kante. I'm holding up the ball. I saw my goal. An overlap. And Sanchez does miss. We did get a little bit lucky, though. And that's what I'm saying, lads. You need luck in these sort of games, in these final 10 games where you do really need to win all of them. As you see, Hazard. Nice hold to play. Into Ronaldo. A fake shot. And he is not missing that from that position. 2-0, 13th minute lads. As I said, I was not giving up this lead. Nine Golan, a lovely run up the line there. He holds up the ball. I saw uh, uh, Hazard in the middle and he slots at home to make it 3-0, 41st minute. And as I said, there was no way of me giving up this lead lads at this point in time. You know, I was just, I was going ham, and I, oh, sorry, there was a comment saying, they were sick of me saying that, so I won't say that. I was just playing outstanding FIFA lads this weekend, out bloody standing, 3-0, 41st minute. I do know this guy was a good player too, he obviously is an elite standard player as well, if I'm coming, against, coming up against players at this point of the game, but I just said we did dominate, six shots to his zero, and lads, we were at 35 wins at this point, three games remaining. Three wins required. We come up against an absolute super team. Lacazette, Dembele, Tolisso, Kante, Fer Ferbino, I think his name is, Lamar, Alessandro, David Luiz. He had Asper de Quetta and Pereira in that right back position. Lads, we get a bit of an AIDS goal here. As you see, I do select David Luiz in the middle of that pack there. I made the run, and I saw he did a chest and slots that home, lads. Those are the sorts of goals that you need. The lucky goals, the jammy goals that you need in these situations, lads. 1-0, 25th minute. We also get a penalty. I step up with Hazard. 99 penalties. I thought I must take it with him. He must score this. He must convert. Hazard steps up into the bottom corner, lads, and he is not missing that. 2-0, and I was so happy at this point. This was the game to make it 36 wins. As you see, lads, Dembele does a really bad slide tackle, and at this point, my opponent had an absolute enough. <laughs> Had enough. He yeah, was a rage quit, you know, connection lost to my, to my opponent. 2 nil, lads. This put us on 36 wins. Two games remaining, two wins required, lads. At this point, my heart was absolutely pounding. I was so nervous, and you will see how I indeed went in the final one. So this was our 36th win. We needed two games. We had two games remaining, two wins required. We did dominate this opponent. Four, four shots, four on target, his zero. We come up against another opponent with another great team. Another super team, that is. He had Cruz. He had Messi. He had Suarez. He had Neymar. He had Isco. He had Casemiro. He had Team of the Year PK. Team of the Year Marcelo. All black and gold. Carver Hell in that Fernandez um, tournament card. Lads, this was another tough game. We did get a lovely break here with Ronaldo. Ronaldo up the line. He's running through on goal, and he's not missing from there, lads. A lucky, jammy goal. And as I said, these are the sorts of goals that you need in these situations, lads. I know I probably should have scored it first, of, first up anyway, because it was a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but we did get a bit lucky. However, my opponent bounces back. It was with Suarez. I needed this win, and at this point, I was so, so nervous. And I said to myself, I cannot give up this game. As you see, Isco holds up. David Luiz, a lovely tackle. It's time for us to break. I saw Ronaldo place the ball through. A lovely ball, lads. A nice speed boost from Ronaldo. He can look for the cut back inside. A dribble pass into Alexis Sanchez. Makes it 2-1 in the 70th minute, lads. This was to make it 37 wins with one game remaining. 2-1 final score, lads. We take the win. 
What a brilliant win this was. This was our 37th win, lads. In this episode, I'm not going to show you the 38th game you would, or, th or 40th game. You're going to have to see my live reaction in tomorrow's video when I do indeed play that last game. Did I get top 100? It's a question that you'll have to be answered in tomorrow's episode, lads. What a brilliant one run we have had. We have gone nine wins out of nine games in these final 10 games. I need one more win to get top 100. At this point I was 37, I needed 38, as I've said countless times, but lads, you'll have to see how I went tomorrow for my live reaction of the gameplay. Anyway guys, that'll be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can we smash 20 likes, lads, to get the hype up for this top 100 finish? If we do, get do you get it? Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a good one, and peace. Okay.